There was an article Todd was asked to read where a mother posted the predictions of her young daughter. It stated, among other things, that there would be three days of darkness, that the earth would split in two, that a yellow and blue sun will come combine, that governments would cease, and that everyone would choose where they want to go. Please explain what this consciousness was trying to convey. Is there three days of darkness? Is there something we are going to experience? If so, what will cause the phenomena? Okay, there are several questions okay. in this. We will break it down. Okay. This consciousness is an ascended consciousness who is attempting to break through the veil at a very young age. It, and this is going to continue to occur as the polarities subside and unity ensues. Uh, uh, let the blue sphere, that is an etheric body. It is not going to impact the sun that would cause a devastation of the material plane on this planet that it will not be allowed and not necessary. So that is not going to occur. Uh, three days of darkness. This is, he has this question more than once on there, I do believe. And there uh, this is, requires a, a larger discussion. Um, in, the, in the realignment of the planetary consciousness as its alignment begins to balance and return to a unification of uh, consciousness with the creational energy interface, there is going to be some uh, seismic activity of the shifting of the uh, crust of the planet. This is um, unfortunately unavoidable based upon what has to occur to realign this sphere and the consciousnesses within it. Uh, it is also being used as the division point between the ascending construct and the consciousnesses that still require the third density experiences that they will continue to experience. This is a larger question in there. Uh, the earth is not physically going to split in half. That is uh, an incorrect concept that uh, for people that do not understand the shifting of constructs and the ascension of constructs. And again, these ascensions and the shifting have all been discussed in previous videos that are on Todd's channel, and they can be referenced there. The, as the sphere regains its balance, this planetary consciousness regains its balance, there will be as we said, seismic and volcanic activity, uh, it is important not to fall into fear. As you contemplate these events, you must uh, go into meditation and allow yourself to be directed where you need to be. And if you don't think you need to be anywhere, you're right where you need to be. This is how this works. There is no, no conscious level of, I'm going to avoid this by running to the desert or I'm going to climb Mount Everest to avoid... <laughs> The, the water, the, this is all improper thought processes. You must allow that you will be led to be right where you're supposed to be for your life path and your journey. Three days of darkness. This is a very misunderstood concept. As, as the correction occurs, there are going to be volcanic events. These volcanic events are going to put a lot of particulate into your atmosphere. This is going to bring uh, clouds and obscure your, your visual interpretation of sun and energetics. Whether it lasts three days or five days or ten days is going to depend upon where you are on the planet and how close you are in proximity to these volcanic events. There is nothing going to happen to your system star that is going to extinguish it that is not a possibility because that would impact life on this planet and as we have said that is not going to be allowed to occur the life on this planet the ascension process and the pathway is going to continue the whole purpose of this is to continue the ascension process and rebalance this system consciousness and this quadrant of the galaxy and it's not to imbalance it by eradicating any life forms or consciousness there are 
consciousness on this planet that have decided to leave. And part of this process here is this change occurs is that there will be three paths. There will be those that stay behind to continue their lessons in the existing remaining construct. There will be those that move within embodiment into the next construct. And there will be those that decide to cease embodiment and move directly into the fifth density energetic planetary collective consciousness. They have the rotational balance and the experience and density to do so and they have decided whether they consciously know this or not. And in this there should be no fear. Everything is working as it is supposed to be. Are Did those, we answer that question? I think so. Are those ascensions taking place like now into those three different sections? There, there are some who are leading that are leaving and these are the consciousnesses that either do not want to experience the transition or are ready to go now and have left. And that is occurring, however, this is observed as a natural process of uh, you know, accidental death, uh, death through uh, uh, viruses and, and infections and that sort of thing. And you know, people that uh, have reached the end of their lifespan.